Well, well, my friends, check out what I have here. This really cool RC Super Tank. This, my friends, is a scale version of the Ripsaw EV2. Now, if you never heard of the Ripsaw tanks before, the Ripsaw tanks are high luxury powerful performance machines that are designed for the off-road enthusiasts and they are pretty sweet my friends. Uh, Matt from RC Adventures has uh, one from I think it's called Pick, Studi Pick, Pick Studios uh, makes a kit that's a thousand dollar kit. This right here was uh, under a hundred bucks and it is pretty sweet. Like I said, I've been looking at this for some time now, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. I'll have another tank in my collection, but a faster tank versus my World War II tanks that I have in my little RC collection here. But let's talk a little about this right here. So I uh, ended up getting this off of uh, Amazon, and uh, you can actually get this vehicle off of eBay and uh, Banggood. Banggood's going to be your cheapest route to go, but uh, if you want it in U.S. and don't want to wait too long, you might want to try Amazon. I'll include a link down in the description box for where I got it from. But yeah, so let's take a little look at the box real quick. Uh, yeah, you might not can see that. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen. You really can't see it. But uh, it's got planetary uh, double current wave box, uh, independent suspension, self-adjusting tracks, tightens the, uh, the front wheels, metal guide wheel brackets, uh, a durable European style go uh Wing style doors. <laughs> All right. So uh, next thing we have is uh, 360 degrees partition. Uh, partition oh, I can't even talk, guys. <laughs> uh, climbs uh, does 30 degree climbing and angles. Uh, an I IOCM gap cross distance, whatever that is, five centimeters forward depth. And it comes with a 7.4 large compact battery and an LED car lamps on it. So, a lot to say right there. But this is an RTR, which means ready to run. It comes with everything, the vehicle, the controller, the battery for the vehicle, and also the charger. So, let's stop talking about the box here. That went down harder than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry. The vehicle has been taken out of it. I have took that out before. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have. Or, just take a look at the vehicle. All right. So here is everything that comes with the vehicle. So you have your instructions, which you definitely want to read the instructions on this. It's not long. It's a one page, and it tells you all about the stuff of this vehicle. It comes with a USB charger. You can see that if it'll camera will focus. So it comes with a USB charger. You get a 7.4. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp lithium ion battery with the Tamiya in, but you also have the data port or the LiPo port. So yeah, all right. So you got that, and then next is the controller, which. I have never really seen an RC tank on a pistol grip controller, and that is really cool. Now, this is pretty basic simple. There's no trim buttons, as you can see, no trim for the steering or the throttle. It's just an on and off switch and an LED light to let you know that you got it, that you got it on there. It takes three AA batteries for the controllers, 2.4 gigahertz controller, and this is gonna be kind of, crazy to try that I, <laughs> I never experienced anything like that so let's take a look at the tank itself very very cool my friends very highly detailed for being you know such thing so you got the rubber tracks here take a look at the back let's go to the side try not to drop it there you go but look at it it looks mean very mean. There's the gold wing doors right there that actually shows the uh, interior. So you got a seat, some draw, looks like the controls, steering wheel, whatever. Up here, you got the little LED light right there. 
it just looks so cool my friends let's clear some room out of here so we can take a better look at this thing a lot of amazing detail in this rc as you can see got where it's supposed to be like a winch right there in the front little lights i don't think they light up or anything i think it's just more of a decor item but it is really really cool <laughs> Definitely uh, very stiff. Definitely going to be bouncing around a lot. I can see that for sure. But, man. Well, I think next thing we need to do, pop in the battery and uh, give it a whirl and see how it drives. All right, friends. So we're going to install the battery in here. So first off, we're going to flip it outside. All right. All right, you're gonna make sure you turn on your remote. Always turn on your remote just to be on the safe side. Sometimes we all forget. I forget myself sometimes. I'm not perfect. All right, so we're gonna plug it up. So this is where the battery goes. And uh, we're gonna try to get it in there. Somehow or another, there it goes. Fits in there like a glove. We're gonna put our cover plate back on. Now, right here on the bottom is the on off switch, so we're gonna hit that. That means we're good. We got the LED lights up there. Now, the LED lights are not just a decorative item, they actually uh, let you know a few things about the vehicle. Now, this vehicle does have a uh, low voltage shut off and a overheat shut off on it, so if the vehicle gets overheated it will shut it down and also when the battery reaches a certain percentage it will also shut it down and I think it's roughly around 43% is for I read on some forum sites about the vehicle that it will shut down between uh, the 43% or so now we'll test that out later on but let's go ahead and get a world everything's cleared on the desk just in case now the vehicle is digital portion, so that means you have control over the throttling and the tri uh, the steering. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give this thing a whirl. Cool. I like that. This is totally crazy my friends I've never drove a tank with a pistol grip controller so that is something neat <laughs> a little hoppy thing some punch to her <laughs> okay that's a lot of fun my friends I mean just for the size of it and everything is it, a lot of this is a lot of fun like definitely gonna have some fun going out with this thing <laughs> oh lord this, this is gonna be a real blast going outside my friends uh, like that's crazy and I love look how crazy is that okay I might have to take this thing off the bench and work it down here on the floor and uh just give it a whirl before I actually take it outside there and yeah so let me go ahead and put it on the floor <laughs> All right. so first off my friends I apologize for the mess I have a little mess here in the RC room I uh, just got it you know have some time to straighten this thing up but anyway let's run it Like it, 
it's very response, you know, res, uh, response time is good on it. Like it actually, the sensitivity is very good on it. And let's punch it again. <laughs> All right, let's take another camera view at this part right here. <laughs> it definitely this thing has definitely got some uh, some power for being what it is I am trying not to hit the camera Oh, I mean, honestly. I mean, this thing is just too cool, my friends. Since it said crawler tank on the box, let's take the house rock and see. Okay. Alright. It surprised me on that part. I'm a turtle. <laughs> All right, my friends, I have to say that this thing is too cool. All right, I have to say that. That thing is crazy, insane, fast for what it is. I mean, I'm, I don't know, my friends. This thing is just crazy wicked, and it's under 100 bucks. I mean, I think sometimes with vehicles that are not like top quality, uh, like from major companies, are definitely uh, a lot of fun. I've had a few vehicles that I paid like $60 for, and they did outstanding. Like, I had more fun with a $60 RC that I bought from somewhere versus the $300, $400, $500 RCs that I've been getting. But it is cool, my friends. So, the next thing we have to do, probably not in this video, 
but in the next video a run video of it outside see what this thing can do i mean whoo i've already had a blast with it my friends all right so i will see y'all in the upcoming video of the rip saw tank running outside maybe ripping up some sand some dirt some grass maybe a neighbor's cat yeah who knows <laughs> no i'm not gonna am you know do that to a cat or what i i don't know my friends all right so hope that you like this video if you did please comment subscribe and i will see y'all later